Hello there and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Terror of the Autons. So, let's get into it. So this episode was broadcast in January of 1971 so it is just over 50 years old as of recording this video and it is uh, like the first for a lot of things it is the first uh, appearance of Kate Manning as Joe Grant Roger Delgado as the master and Richard Franklin as Captain Mike Yates and it is an um, it is an amazing story I obviously watched this on the season 8 box set which came out about two weeks ago as I record this video and yeah it is a really good story I have seen it before on DVD but yeah it is amazing so let's get into a synopsis so basically the doctor's um, enemy the master has land has landed on earth and is um, trying to summon the Auton army um, and little um controversial opinion here i think this is better than spearhead from space with the updated special effects it is a really really good story um i love the like uh, i think it's called the cso cleanup where that floating uh time lord um like they change the blue screen effect like that outline which i think is a really good effect um, that like they cleaned up on and also the plastic doll which strangled the guy of the boss from the plastic factory and the nesting squid thing and I, I do think all of those have amazing special effects again as I mentioned I saw this on DVD and yeah it was good but I couldn't really get into it it just didn't seem right somehow but yeah, it is an amazing, amazing story. And if you can, I recommend you check it out on the Season 8 box set with the updated special effects and sound on. And yeah, I don't really have anything to say about about it. I mean, I don't. the only bit I don't like is at the start when, um, when the Doctor is sort of arguing with Joe. I mean, mainly because... Um, that's not really because I haven't really seen much of season eight before the box set came out and uh, before I'd seen like season nine season ten on DVD and blu-ray and before and it's like this sort of like a tight knitted couple and it's sort of weird to see them argue if you get what I mean and I just I it was nice to see how they started off and how they like grew that bond and yeah it's just and that's part. They're probably my one of my favorite classic Doctor Who companions, as well as the Seventh Doctor and Ace. And as well, um, when I was watching it, um, my dad came in, and it was the bit when um Joe Grant got squirted with the plastic stuff by the daffodil, and my and my dad remembers watching that back in nineteen seventy one, and he said that gave him and his friends nightmares for weeks so it's kind of really nice to know that um it had a really big audience uh, then and people loved it like i like i do and yeah it's just, it was just like a really nice like connection back then cuz i didn't know i didn't know he watched it i knew he watched like a couple a couple of stories and like one ones that he heard uh, have been good like uh, he remembers watching spearhead the green death Definitely remembers watching Planet of the Spiders, which is John Pertwee's final episode. And he can remember watching The Time Warrior. Obviously, he didn't know the stories, but he knew what happened in them. Like Sarah Jane's first episode, Tom, uh, John Pertwee's last. And, yeah, it's just... a Yeah, it was just really nice. And also, the uh, making of documentary is really, really good. Um... And it shows you like some, I believe they did a little bit of restoration on Terror of the Autons. And it shows you some of the shots from the DVD version. And when you compare like the different ones, it looks a lot better. So that's it for this video. Um, let me know what you think of Terror of the Autons in the comment section down below. And hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.